Hi everybody, Dave Yellovic with Homes Built Right. One of the questions I'm off, often asked about the electric code is where do ground fault circuit interrupters have to go? I recently did a class online and I covered this topic in a little bit of detail. So uh, ground fault circuit interrupters, the things that could save your life. Uh, they're pretty neat devices and uh, hope you like this quick clip from that class. Now let's talk about ground fault. Ground fault here, these are blue. You see we've, we've tripped one, but notice these are AFCI, GFCI. These are combination breakers. Uh, the code, as we get into this, you'll see that, well, I have to have ground fault protection, but I also need arc fault protection. How do I do that at the same time? Through a combination breaker. So in this case, an arc fault, ground fault combo breaker. And again, so where are these things going to go? Let's talk about it first with the ground fault, okay? GFCI, ground fault circuit interrupter protection. So they've been in the code for a long, long time. And each code cycle, the list grows and grows and grows. And of course, in the 2020, no exceptions, there's going to be some more. So here we go. So I'm going to talk about, it's always been here. Anything, anything in the bathroom is going to be ground fault protected. Anything in a garage is going to be ground fault protected. Uh, the, the outdoors, crawl spaces, basements, kitchens. Now here's a key thing in the code. Kitchens where they're installed to serve the countertop. So you might have one down yonder near the floor, but it's not serving the countertop. So technically it doesn't have to be ground fault protected unless it's within six feet of a sink. And that's another thing that we'll talk about in a minute. And then also you'll notice dishwashers. Dishwashers are mandated to be on a GFI. So that's pretty, pretty simple stuff right there. So now let's talk about some more. So here we go. So sinks, here's the six foot rule, where receptacles are installed within six feet of a sink. We'll think about that in a second. Talk about, we'll go back to that. Boathouses, bathtubs, and shower stalls, where receptacles are within six feet again. There's that six foot rule. Then anything in a laundry or utility room, the laundry room, anything in there, any 110 outlet is going to be on a GFI. And then here's a new one that's in the code book. It's a little asterisk. Indoor, damp, or wet locations. Well, what is an indoor, damp, or wet location? You know, what could that be? The code specifically shows in some of their illustrative uh, definitions a dog washing space. Uh, we're getting good at these, putting these into houses. Uh, maybe it's a kid washing space. I don't know, you know, whatever it is. But if you have these open areas uh, in a mud room or something like that, that that area is supposed to have GFCI protection. So indoor, wet, or damp locations. So like I said, we're used to the, the outlets with the buttons on them. Those have been around for a long time. Now explain to your homeowners that they may still see some of these. Okay, you might see them in a bathroom. Um, but once they get hooked up with a arc fault, then we kind of get crazy and you're usually going to have to go out to the panel to reset it if it trips. So uh, again, ground fault protects people. Let's uh, keep those rules straight and go from there. Now, here's one thing I wanted to point out about new in the 2020 NEC. How do we measure? When I say within six feet, remember from a shower or a tub, it's within six feet. When I'm uh, measuring from a sink within six feet, well, the code got very specific. That's the shortest distance a cord would go, okay? So if I plug into an outlet here with a six foot cord, wherever that cord can go on a straight line or wrap around or do whatever, if I could wrap that cord at the other end, at the, at the six foot end and hit an outlet somewhere around, that's gotta be GFCI protected. So we're not measuring on straight lines or diagonal. What, it's wherever that cord can bend around to reach. That's what that thing's going to be. So we're going to see that here in a little, little bit. So now here's another thing they added. Including through a doorway. This one's going to be kind of fun. Um, two things come to mind. Um, one is in a bathroom. Maybe it's a hall bathroom. Maybe it's uh, the master bathroom. What if the master bathroom door is right here? And I've got a sink and I've got an outlet right here on my left. And to my left further is the door that goes into the master bedroom. 
Well, right around the corner in the master bedroom is an outlet on the wall. Again, if I plug in here at the sink with my six foot cord, could I go around that door opening and touch that other outlet within six feet? If the answer is yes, that outlet out there needs to be GFI protected. Don't ask me, that's what's in the code. That's 2020 NEC, effective in September in uh, the state of Texas. So and here's the other one, including a cabinet door. So I showed you maybe a bathroom door, how that might work, but what about a cabinet door? Your kitchen sink, you're right here at your kitchen sink, what's underneath you? There's usually a, well, dishwashers are already on a GFCI. But what about the disposal plug? The disposal is plugged in underneath the sink, usually. And now that is probably gonna be GFCI protected because I can open the doors, the cabinet doors, and take my measurement from the edge of the sink, in this case, from the edge of the sink, to that outlet, less than six feet, I've got to have GFCI protection on that disposal. So this rule on how to measure things, remember six foot rule and open up doors. If you're going to be close, close to a sink, close to a shower, close to a tub, then you're going to have to start thinking GFCI protection. So we already mentioned the disposal. Now remember underneath, the disposal and the dishwasher are usually underneath the kitchen sink plugged in. In this case, he's got the disposal plugged in in this outlet up here. He's got the dishwasher down here and the electrician has labeled each one. You notice this dishwasher is GFCI protected and this disposal is already GFCI protected. They have those little labels on them, those teeny tiny labels that say GFCI. Those things should be on there and let you know. Also, when you have two separate outlets here, they need to be labeled because out on the panel, there are two circuit breakers that say disposal or dishwasher. Uh, I need to know which one I'm turning off. So they have to correspond. That's why it needs to be labeled. Could you easily switch around those plugs? Sure. And then that messes up what's written on the panel. So keep that in mind. So disposals, GFCI protected. Now we're going to get a little...